Hi. Today I'm going to give you a tour where you will be learning about some basics of quantum computing on IBM Quantum Composer platform. So we'll do some theory in this uh, notebook here. And uh, at the same time, we'll also look at IBM Quantum Composer. So this is IBM Quantum Composer, as you can see. Maybe I can just delete the other tabs for the time being. Yeah, so IBM Quantum Composer. Uh, I'll, let me start by giving you a brief overview of what this platform is. So here, uh, we can divide this into four, uh, four, four parts. This is part one, this is part two, this is part three, and this is part four. So part one comprises of different quantum gates that we apply to these qubits. So in this part, we have this qubits, Q of zero, Q of one, Q of two, and Q of three. So there are four qubits. And these lines are generally called uh, qubit lines or quantum wires. So what we do, we basically you know, uh, uh, drag, uh, the quantum gates from here and put them in these qubit lines. Uh, thereby, we apply those quantum operations or quantum gates on these specific qubits. And we'll see uh, that uh, this probability distribution here will change as we implement different gates to these qubits. Uh, in this uh, fourth part, we have a Q-sphere. And what this guy does, this guy shows us how the state changes as the gate at the gates operate. Uh, but then there's an advantage here. We also can see the phase. Uh, here, it only shows the probability distribution, but here we can also get an idea of the phase. As you can see, there are different colors. So as uh, the state of the qubit will change here based on the operation of a quantum gate, we'll see different colors would represent different state here. Uh, before we start uh, some demonstration here, let's uh, get back to our notepad and I'll give you a quick overview of the quantum computing uh, uh, basics. So the, so the general idea of quantum computing is we start with some qubits. We start with some qubits. And these qubits go through some quantum gates. And finally, we measure them. When we measure them, we get some uh, classical outcomes. And they are basically the, they will be the result of computation, which would depend upon, you know, the kind of quantum gates we apply. Quantum mechanically, this part here, which lies between the initial and the final part is a unitary evolution. And this unitary evolution basically means that uh, the probability of the quantum states are conserved. So this unitary evolution ensures that the probability of quantum states, or in this case, qubits, are conserved. Now, how does the qubits look? Or uh, what is the most general representation of a qubit? Uh, the most general representation of a qubit is the following, alpha zero plus beta one, where Alpha and beta are complex numbers. So they belong to the set of C. And uh, 
they satisfy this criteria where alpha mod square plus beta mod square equals to one. Um, and this is nothing but the normalization condition. In fact, we can see that all the quantum states in this uh, uh, IBM quantum composer are also normalized. How do we see that? We can see that this qubit lines here, Q0, Q1, Q2, and Q3, all are initiated in state zero. So the first one stands for Q of zero. The second one stands for Q of one. The third one stands for Q of two, and the fourth one stands for Q of three. And we see that the probability is 100%. So this 100% probability is uh, um, the same as saying probability of one. So the total probability must add up to one. We'll see it later as well. All right. Uh, so uh, just to note that this alpha and beta are complex numbers, so they can have uh, amplitude as well as phase. All right. Uh, one, just to remind, the zero is nothing but this vector, one zero, and one is nothing but zero one vector. So essentially, psi can also be written as alpha beta. Right, where alpha beta satisfies the normalization condition. Um, that means when we apply gates to this state, so whenever we apply gates, what they do, they basically change this alpha beta to something else, right? Let's say delta gamma. And this delta gamma could be something like alpha minus beta, or they could be uh, beta alpha, or they could be just uh, uh, maybe minus beta alpha or anything. So uh, all I'm saying is uh, when quantum gates are applied, it is the amplitude of this alpha beta that changes, not just amplitude, I mean, the phase as well. Uh, so this alpha beta basically changes. Uh, all right, uh, if, if it is difficult to digest, I mean, this part, uh, then uh, uh, you could ignore it. Uh, in, in later uh, uh, stage, we, we are gonna understand it better. All right, let me give you some examples of the quantum gates then. The most, perhaps the most important gate in quantum computing is the Hadamard gate. So let's start with that. Um, Hadamard gate. The reason it's special is the following. If I apply Hadamard gate to qubit zero uh, or the qubit in zero state, then it gives me the following state it gives me a superposition of zero and one, okay? Or I can write it as one over root two zero plus one over root two one. In other words, it gives me a state where probability of getting zero is uh, one half, sorry. Probability of getting zero is one half and uh, that is also the prob that is also the probability of getting zero. Sorry, that is also the getting of uh, the probability of getting one. That means when we apply Hadamard gate, it creates equal superposition. So, if we have a probability distribution, the initial probability distribution, as something like this. You know, 
uh, where this peak represents 100%. Then, upon the application of Hadamard gate, we are going to get two peaks now. One corresponding to uh, zero and the other, other corresponding to one. While here it was corresponding to zero. And this would be now 50%, 50%, okay? So Hadamard gate creates a superposition. Uh, let's see if that is indeed the case. Uh, we have Q0, it's initialized in state zero. So by default, all the qubits are initialized in state zero, as you can see here, everything is in zero state. Uh, let's apply then the Hadamard gate to it. Okay, and here you go. We see that uh, we now have 50-50 probability for both the states. I mean, for state zero as well as state one. And uh, that's the reason we say Hadamard gate, Hadamard gate has uh, created a superposition of zero and one starting from the state zero. Uh, also note that uh, we have applied the Hadamard gate to qubit zero. And that's why this bar uh, and this bar are 50, 50 percent. If I take the Hadamard gate and apply it to here, we would see that the second bar translates to the, uh, translates to one step right. Yeah. And the reason is that uh, now it is the second qubit that will change to uh, the superposition of zero and one. So here you can see, this is the second qubit becoming one. This is the second qubit zero, right? So now we see this and this. Similarly, if I apply that to qubit, uh, the third qubit in that line, then we'll expect a peak here. Expect this uh, this uh, 50 uh, fifty percent probability uh, histogram to drop here, right? That makes sense. It, it's just about you know the position of this. All right. So this is what happens when Hadamard gate is applied to state zero. What happens if we apply this Hadamard gate to state one? Interestingly, now it becomes zero minus one by root two. Okay. So it still have the superposition, but it adds a minus to the state one. Uh, so if I just calculate the probability, then it's going to be half only. But then we'll see that there's a phase. So this negative sign, uh, I, I can write it as, you know, something like this, one by root two zero uh, plus minus one times one by root two one. And uh, I can further write it as, one by root to zero plus this minus one, I'm gonna write it as e power i pi so that I say that this pi is a phase now, one by root two, one, okay? Uh, that means here I have got this phase created by the Hadamard gate. And that phase is pi. All right, let's see if that is indeed the case. So I want to apply Hadamard gate to state one. Okay, how do I do this? Uh, because, uh, okay, uh, I'll get back to it. 